Hey guys, I want to share some highlights from my recent trip to Panama. I just turned 40 and decided to celebrate in the Central American country of Panama. I had an amazing time. We woke up first thing in the morning, headed to the Atlanta airport. Of course, you know that we had to stop by duty free, pick up a few bottles, mm -hmm, get the party started early. It was a four hour flight to Panama. We had to show a negative COVID test. No problems. Once we got there, the views were absolutely gorgeous. We stayed at the Ryu Hotel in Playa Blanca, which was on the Pacific side of Panama. Here is a view from our balcony. It was beautiful. I loved, loved, loved waking up to the ocean every single day. I loved hearing the ocean every single day. We wasted no time, went straight downstairs to the beach at the resort. Most days were overcast, but it did not matter dance, dance, dance. We still had an amazing time on the beach each day, loved the beautiful trees, and loved seeing the coconuts on the palm trees. Now, I do want to say that the sand is black there. There is an inactive volcano nearby, which makes the sand black. You can find black sand beaches in places like Hawaii and the Canary Islands. I personally find black sand beaches to be beautiful. However, I know not everyone likes it, so I did want to give that disclaimer about the Ryu at Playa Blanca. Of course, there was a pool with a bar. The drinks came constantly, nonstop. That was great. They even gave me a cake for my birthday. Awesome. There was nightly entertainment with salsa, bachata. That was a good time as well. And there was plenty of eye candy at the shows. So at night, we had a really good time at the resort. The next day, we went to Nico's Beach, which was about 15 minutes up the street from the resort. That was an amazing time as well. This was the best best seafood ever. The portions were humongous. We had lobster, yuca fries, ceviche. The food was very fresh. We even spent some time with some local indigenous women. They mastered the art of bead making. They had beautiful beads, jewelry. They put it on our arms. They put it on our legs. That was really fascinating. The next day after that, we uh, traveled four hours to Cologne, which is on the Caribbean side of Panama. That was great. We heard reggae music blasting everywhere. I felt like I was in Jamaica. We saw so many beautiful Afro Panamanians. That was great too. Our first stop was at Iglesia de San Felipe. Bebe, look closely. It was the black Jesus for me. They call him Cristo Negro, which translates to black Christ. Thousands of people come there every year to worship. Our next stop was Porto Velo. We went to a small fishing uh, village and that was great. We spent some time with them. They uh, ride around selling their fish, shrimp, fruits, vegetables. Very quaint town, friendly, loving people. We hopped on a speedboat to head to our next destination. I was a little nervous, but we made it. There was our little pretty boat. Uh, the water was really clear. We were in Venas Azules. We saw starfish and other little critters. We had a great time. The rum started pouring the reggaeton got turned on and we turned up at the beach there for the day that was really fun uh we ate really fresh <laughs> seafood too fish octopus plantains excellent the next day we traveled two hours to panama city the skyline reminded me of miami it was beautiful and vibrant there our first stop was to casco viejo which is old panama city that was really cool saw some really nice murals while we were there and we visited some different neighborhoods within Panama City. Our next stop was the Panama Canal. Yes, one of the man-made wonders of the world. Its construction ended over 100 years ago and over 25,000 people died building the Panama Canal. It connects the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. Do you see this vessel traveling through with cargo? Over 1 million vessels have crossed the Panama Canal since its construction. Awesome. Along the canal, we went to Causeway, a cool little area that has lots of restaurants and bars. We had a really good time over there as well. Listen, my trip to Panama was 
amazing. If you want to visit, make sure you do.